In this video, we will take a closer look at one of Minicam's most popular live video tools for broadcasts and video conferences, the picture-in-picture. -picture. The most common use is to have one bigger layer in the back as the main focus of your video and then a smaller window in front with either your webcam or any other source that requires less attention like this one. And then other options are also the split screen so this is a four-way split and you can also add multiple layers on top of a base layer for your broadcast. Whatever is on this main live window here is what it's going to be your video output. So if you had Manicam connected to your video conferencing app, attendees would see this main window. Let's create this one first. So let's clear everything out and start from scratch. All right, so one way is to come up here to presets and click on the plus sign. We can choose a name for the preset and here we can see some default layout options. So let's write test and here would be one single layer, then it would be one layer with a smaller one. Here we have one big layer with two small windows. Then we have a vertical split horizontal split and a four-way split. Let's go ahead and choose this one for the tutorial. Now that we have the preset created, we can cut or transition to this one and we have the layers to add the sources and start working with. Let's go ahead and add our webcam to the smaller one. I could add my webcam, I can also add my NDI input, so my phone. Here I have my phone and I can also come up here to crop and hold down shift to get a square, apply. Now I'm here, make it a bit smaller and let's add the PowerPoint presentation up here. So click on the layer and then select presentation. My presentations here is the PowerPoint uh, presentation slide and if you're on a Mac, make sure you also have Keynote installed, otherwise this feature will not work. Alright, so our PowerPoint presentation is added here. We can switch between the slides and let's leave it on this one for now. Keep in mind, uh, this back layer can be any of the sources. It can also be a video playlist and we'll put a link in the description for that tutorial. The picture-in-picture -picture is a very versatile tool. You can add more layers if you right-click on the main window here. You can remove layers and then you can also manage the layers here with these tools. You can also resize your layers, so make it bigger or smaller and add more layers on top of it. So for example, if we wanted to personalize a little bit more this presentation, we could drag in our logo. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the Manicam logo here, so I can just drag and when I drop it, it gives me the following option. So I can add to the selected layer, but that means it would remove my presentation. And I can also create a new layer. So I'm going to choose that one and I can resize it here and put it in the corner. You can see that uh, it snaps. So we have these dotted lines that help you align things on your main window here. So this is good. And then we're ready to go to our broadcast or video conferencing call. You can also, from this, create different presets here so that you can switch between them. So you could have one preset with only the presentation. So if I transition to this one, it's now, now it's only my presentation here and not my webcam or the logo. And then I can cut back to this one and we're back here. This is just one of many examples of what you can do. So you could also create another preset with speakers and 
split into four via NDI connection, you could add the speakers from a Skype meeting or a Microsoft Teams meeting and they would show up as options here. And it would look like the example we saw in the beginning with real people instead. And this is also resizable, so this can be bigger or smaller or you can decide however you want to display each speaker. And that's it for this tutorial. We hope this video was helpful. And if you have any other requests for other tutorials, just leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.